Well doctor, what is your prognosis? Captain, can we go to the conference area please? What is it doctor, you look worried. Are they in good shape or bad? Captain, I can't tell if they are alive or dead. What do you mean? You're the doctor here. Their respiration is incredibly slow, just a breath every other minute when they are not talking. Heartbeats are extremely slow. It also appears that they are not eating. How can that be? They have to eat something. Not as near as I can tell. It is getting worse though. They have fangs and a special organ in their heads. These people apparently have not aged either. They crashed here 20 years ago. Captain I don't mean to interrupt, but one of my landing party has gone missing. I left her to investigate the ship further. She does not answer. Form an armed team. Is there any place other than the ship where she could have gone? There is a small dwelling with one apparent occupant near the ship. Keep me posted. Search personnel are to use weapons at their discretion. Lieutenant Soaks look. It looks like the body of the missing woman. This is the reported location of the dwelling that is separate. Phasers on stun. Return to the ship with her body. We will confront the occupant of this dwelling. I am Lieutenant Soaks of the Federation Starship Hood. We want to know if you have any information about the people here. Of course I do Vulcan. I won't tell you however. Why is it that your neck pinch works but my phaser did not? Phasers are being inhibited here. My neck pinch is not. You are too late Vulcan. The people will take your ship from you. My thoughts to your thoughts. My mind to your mind. We are moving closer, closer. We must return to the ship immediately. These people are an extreme danger to our kind. What shall I do with him? The old man. Incarcerate him in the brig.
Captain, we are in grave danger. What have you learned? Tell me. The civilians are controlled by energy beings. They are malevolent. I mind melded with the old man you will find in the brig. What are their intentions? Do you know? They intend to hijack this ship and take it to a heavily inhabited planet. There they will take over and begin to procreate. First, they need to build portable magnetic generators. Why would they have to do that? It is the magnetic fields in this area. They are dependent on them, but they can carry fields with them. What about the one in the brig? Why has he grown old? He has a symbiont inside of him, but his mechanical heart. It produces magnetic fields and disrupts the symbiont's control. The human part of him sometimes comes through. I mind melded with him. Engineer can you give me warp speed to get away from this place? We are working on it. The magnetic fields are inhibiting everything. I think in about an hour I can give you some warp. Security alert. Security transport all of the civilians back to the planet. Come on old man. We need you for the transporter room. Remember our bargain. You will take me to a neutral planet. Yes we will honor our commitment to you. Captain, the transporter is being used to transport the civilians aboard. There is a thing in the cargo bay. Security to the transporter room, on the double. We are taking over your ship. As soon as we have the portable magnetic generators completed, we will go to a highly inhabited planet where our race can thrive. I will destroy the ship here rather than to allow that. You won't get the chance. Your weapons are ineffective here. We outnumber you 5 to 1. We will stop you somehow. Perhaps a demonstration would persuade you. Can you give me some time in private with my officers? Five minutes, Captain. No more. Any ideas? We cannot allow this to spread. We can generate magnetic pulses that will disrupt the symbionts, in theory. Engineering will have to do this. The problem is getting in contact with them. I think we are about to have a magnetic storm. I don't understand. A magnetic storm will not help us. Lieutenant, when we get time remind me to explain to you the concept that we humans call shucking and jiving.
What is happening? Why are we losing power? Sensors indicate that we are headed through a magnetic storm. As if we did not have enough problems. Shields to maximum. We have lost main power. You need to call engineering. I don't trust you human. Can't you fix it here? No we can't. That is engineering's duty. I am seeing a power loss on the bridge. We need to risk calling them. Engineer our hull has been magnetized by a magnetic storm. We need to demagnetize it as soon as possible. That is only done in space dock. You know that. Lisa will explain what needs to be done. Human, you are making me nervous. What are you doing? We need to demagnetize the hull. We are not going anywhere until we do. Alright human. Just make certain we are ready to go when our generators are completed. Are we ready? This gentleman wants to get underway. Engineering reports that they are demagnetizing our hull. How long is supposed to take human? Only a few minutes I hope. Sir, we are going to warp. I did not do it. Shall I shut it down? As you were. Take no action. Now maybe medical can tell us if they are alive. I don't think that will be an issue, Captain. Look. Beam that monstrosity in our cargo hold out into space. Captain's log we have resumed our course at full warp capacity to our destination. The question remains, were they ever alive after being taken over? We don't know. We beamed their receptacle into space and have notified Starfleet that this planet should be placed under quarantine. Our lone passenger is back in the brig and did not revert to a skeleton the way the others did. He is protesting his innocence. After we deal with the trade dispute, we will drop him off at Starbase 22. How do you know that they will come? They will come. They always come. <laughs>